So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this header section here uh, a transparent header on the home page in Beaver Builder. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is we need to grab a little bit of code. And I've got a link to the code um, down below in the description down below. Okay, so this is the code here. So all we need to do is we just need to copy it just like this and go back to your website. And then we're going to use the customize button right up here. So typically when you're modifying the code of a WordPress website, you need to make a child theme in order to be able to modify the code. But in this case, uh, Beaver Builder has added this code section right here, which actually stores the code that you add to this section right inside your database. So even if there's an update to the theme, it's not going to mess up or erase uh, this code here. So just go over here to CSS code and then just paste in that code that we added there. And you can see um, it's already taken effect up here and it's it's done something. Uh, but we need to make a couple of adjustments to the settings here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this shows up only on the home page because we don't know what other kinds of pages we're going to create and we don't want to have a transparent header that doesn't work with the different pages that we might make in the future. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to add a dot home tag to each of the different sections that are going to affect our header here. So we're going to just add just add the words dot home and give it a space. And you'll know it's working because it's going to turn the sort of bluish green color here. And now the next thing you might need to do is you might need to adjust this margin top setting here or this margin top setting here to get the menu bar to appear where you want it to be. So the first thing that I noticed um, when I was trying to add this to my website is I actually had to take out this position relative section here um, because that was sort of messing everything up a little bit for me. Um, and then the next thing, so let's go ahead and delete that. So now that we've um, erased that and we've added all of those home tags, let's just go ahead and just verify what it's actually going to look like on our home page by clicking Save and Publish and then closing this. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty good. But to make this work well and make it look good, let's add some extra space above this fire and effects um, sign here. So to do that, we're going to kick on the page builder. And then above this fire and effects section here, we're just going to add one of the basic modules. We're going to add a separator. And then separator. And then you want to make sure that the separator is up here in that space above our fire and effects title. There we go, just like that. And then let's change the opacity to zero so that we don't see it. And then under advanced, let's make this 75 pix, just to give us a little bit of space up there. And then we'll click save. And so there we go. That is how you do a transparent header in the Beaver Builder theme. Now that we've got a transparent header, you might want to change the colors of your menu to be white so it's easier to read and maybe make the text bold. Um, and you can see how to do that in the section on how to configure the Beaver Builder theme and plugin. We can click Done here to save this. And if you're not comfortable with code and, and you tried this and it didn't work out, you know, don't worry about it. You can always go back to Customize, go over to Code, whoops, not Widgets, <laughs> go over to Code and CSS Code, and then just delete this code, and it will take away any of the changes that you make. Um, and then you can just go back to using the standard Beaver built-in uh, Beaver Builder header and menu section. There you go, and that concludes this tutorial on how to make a website with uh, Beaver Builder. If you want to learn more about Beaver Builder, you can head over to realwebsitehints.com slash beaver. And for more tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching.